I'm Polly Hubbard, the Director of Education at the Peabody Museum, one of the Harvard Museums of Science and Culture. And I'm inviting Chelsea residents and anybody on the North Shore to come down to this awesome mini exhibit at the Chelsea Public Library. When you walk in, you'll see a two-sided space with two chairs encrusted with art. And I hope you'll spend a little moment reading the text panels, which are bilingual in English and Spanish, because 15 teenagers, named right here, spent about three months with us building four exhibits. Two of them, one of them, is here today. Two of them are open for the year. But 15 teenagers built two exhibits with us over a semester-long period. You'll see their names on this particular panel now. They're coming in, they're getting excited, so maybe you'll meet them a little bit later. This exhibit was based around a, an installation at the museum that talked about the 1893 World's Fair. And at this fair in Chicago, many, many cultures were represented, but they didn't give voice to how they wanted to be represented. They were presented as other people saw them, as foreign, or as other, or as not quite as advanced as some people would like today. This is no longer a practice in the world, and our students and the teens who worked on this responded strongly to it and really felt like they wanted to figure out a way to represent themselves in the way that they would be proud for people to know about. So we did a series of activities around identity and around culture and around belonging and around taking up space in this world in a really positive way. So what you'll see on these chairs is small pieces of artwork that talk about how they want to be represented. Um, many of our folks are from El Salvador, are from Central America, from Mexico, from um, Honduras, one from Brazil, one from Peru. And as you take a look at it, you can see even on the fronts and the sides of the chairs that they're responding to ways that they've been treated as minorities in a majority culture, or in Chelsea, as majority in a majority culture. If you look carefully over here, you can see some of the themes that they hope people see in the exhibit. Um, one person who's here today did grandmother's kitchen curtains and how they frame love, which is an important part of her memories of home and of place and of heritage. Um, other people talked about the Caribbean waters, where they came from, from the beach. Some people talked about the gorgeous El Salvadoran traditions of dancing and folk art and music. Um, all in all, this was a challenge for the kids because they really wanted their own chair. Don't we all want our own chair, right? To talk about ourselves and our identity. And we only gave them a piece. So I think they did a great job in coming to terms with the realities of exhibits, which is what we all have to do in the museum world. If you come in, you can get to go to the other side and see a place where you can contribute your own comments. So here we are on the other side of the exhibit. At first glance, it reminds you of school, because there's a desk and a chair and some pencils. But what we hope you'll do is read the questions directed at you. List three things that help define your cultural identity. It's kind of a hard question, right? At least it is for me. Um, and then people have added their thoughts to this board. We have about a thousand comments from when this exhibit was first in the Peabody Museum, and we're gathering more at this particular location. I might read a few of them to you, see what you think. Um, Generically, you could have traditions, or music, or being Salvadoran. Maybe more specifically, you can be Mayan, or interested in music, or have a Quiche language as your native tongue. If I had to put my comments up there today, I might say New Englander, feminist, French heritage, twitchy. I don't know, that's probably not part of my cultural identity, but it's certainly a part of my identity, a fast-moving person. So what we hope people will do is take a look at what the kids did, try to put themselves in their place, and add their comments to the exhibit, so, and have a conversation with the people around them, in the library, with family, with friends, about what this project was all about. We'd like to thank the Institute of Museum and Library Services for giving us a grant to do this. And we have three very important partners, one of whom was the Chelsea Recreation and Cultural Affairs Department. B. Corvada was our contact there, 
who helped us with recruitment and giving us some schools to do some projects in with the teenagers. One was an organization in Somerville called the Welcome Project for New Immigrants who also helped us with recruitment. And the third was the Somerville Media Agency that made some videos for us so we could document the teens' work and they could have something for their college portfolios. But I invite you to come down, enjoy the exhibit. It'll be here till March. Return a book, leave a comment, have a great time, and we hope you'll visit the Peabody Museum, certainly, which is free to Massachusetts residents from 9 to 12 on Sunday mornings. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and um, this is my piece that I made for the Hear Me Out program. Um, I really enjoyed doing this project because it helped me see pieces of myself, of who I am, and um, my family is super religious, so I added some, like, icons there but I also added a solidarity flag and as you can see like it's kind of like a collage and I, the reason why I did that was because I feel like many people think that um, people from Central America or South America are just like this one idea like people think that his, all Hispanic people are like Mexicans and I wanted to tell people that we're just there's more pieces of who I am I'm not just one thing and yeah Mi nombre es Jaira Mejía y yo soy de Toma Tu Lugar. Um, mi parte del proyecto son esas tres piezas. Es el arco iris, um, esta parte de aquí abajo y las bananas. Y pues las bananas representan um, el nombre de Honduras que se llamaba eh, la República de las Bananas. Um, esta otra parte de acá representa qué hermoso es las qué tan hermosas son las playas de Honduras, um, los corales que están acá abajo, los pájaros son muy hermosos allá y también tenemos pues todas las los colores que representan los difer las diferentes tribus de Honduras que también están ahí como uh, Tahuaca, Nahua y Garifuna son algunos de ellos y pues era muy difícil hacer tres partes de este proyecto, pero al final salió muy bien. Hi, my name is Leah and I'm 15 years old. I go to Chelsea High School and I'm here to talk about my piece that I made with Harvard. So at first, honestly, I was really nervous and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I felt like there were so many possibilities for me. But the biggest thing that first went to my mind was that how in my household I constantly and constantly saw artwork like this around and it was just something that I always grew up seeing and something that without me even knowing had a big part on my life so I decided that was like the best route for me to go so I decided to draw this piece that I found and I thought it was really pretty and it just was so connected to my childhood and growing up with my family that it was a lot more meaningful than I thought it would be. Hola, yo me llamo Abby Sandoval Fossi. Este, soy uh, coordinadora de programas para jóvenes y familias en el Museo de Peabody de Arqueología y Etnología de Harvard. Estamos aquí porque estamos celebrando a los niños y los artistas que hicieron esta exhibición que se llama Take Your Place, Toma Tu Lugar. Eh, queremos agradecer mucho a Sarah Gay Jackson por organizar esta exposición. También queremos agradecer a Vic Crevara, que es la directora de Recreación y Asuntos Culturales, además de conectarnos con la biblioteca y por su apoyo y entusiasmo eh, por este proyecto desde el principio. Este proyecto se nos dio a través de una beca federal del Instituto de Servicios de Museos eh, y Bibliotecas que permitió a la Universidad de Harvard a desarrollar el programa de Hear Me Out, Escúchame. Extendemos especialmente nuestro agradecimiento a los padres, a los maestros que compartieron este proyecto con sus este, estudiantes y a, a los adolescentes que participaron en el programa. Eh, hemos aprendido mucho de ellos. Y este año, de febrero a mayo, también estamos ofreciendo unos talleres especiales para adolescentes latinos. También me gustaría compartir eh, otros eventos que vamos a tener en el museo. Especialmente el 26 de marzo vamos a tener una feria de arqueología con actividades para 
eh, todas las edades para toda la familia eh, en el Museo del Peabody. En junio vamos a tener un evento celebrando el solsticio eh, donde va a haber música en vivo, actividades y también todos los domingos eh, por la mañana el museo es gratis de 9 a 12 para los residentes de Massachusetts. Así que por favor visítenos. Gracias. Hear Me Out is a project meant to invite the Hispanic community to the Harvard Museums. Usually people feel more comfortable going into spaces in which they can relate to, which is what Hear Me Out is all about. Us students are making pieces to go into the museums. Since we all have different backgrounds, these pieces are unique to us and our families, which many people in our community can relate to in some aspect. I've never edited an audio, Tampoco había visto muchos animales que pude ver en el museo y eso me, me pareció muy genial. Aprendí muchas cosas también y sentí que formé parte de algo que, no sé, este es el primer año del proyecto, entonces es como algo que va a continuar y es raro. Es un sentimiento raro, pero me gusta, sí. I've always considered museums really boring. I always thought that they kind of were there to kind of just give information. I only like the children museum. I hope that it helps bring more people of Hispanic heritage or people that only speak Spanish to the museums. I thought it was like really interesting how they're trying to make this so that like, it's, like so that Latinx kids can like learn more about this stuff and if you want to be able to kids. We should all learn about this because this might be very effective for what we may bring up in the future.